Did you know that there's a brand new King Rune KLP-1? It's the 230 and it's replacing last year's 210 model. I have both of them right here and we're putting them head to head printing their Violent Benchy G-Code. Yes, you heard me right, I said Violent. Stick with me because I think you'll be surprised at the print results. Now let's get straight into this and get both of these machines up here on the bench and powered up. I've loaded both of them with Polymaker's Polylight PLA Pro, green for the green lights on the 210 and orange for the orange lights on the 230. I'm gonna go ahead and start the Violent Benchy G-Code on each machine at the exact same time, and I'm gonna bump the temps to 225 on each machine just after they finish with their first layer. And I'll explain more about why I'm doing that in just a moment. Both of these machines are Core XY, which is basically a motion system that's grown in popularity over the past couple of years. I don't really care or have a preference for the motion system of a 3D printer. I'm really more concerned about the user experience and how well they print. But basically a Core XY machine in simple terms, it just uses two motors to move in any given direction, very simply. Both of them are enclosed, which is nice. So you can print more advanced filaments like ABS, ASA, and nylons without worrying about drafts of air causing warping or loss of bed adhesion. Um, I still haven't installed the lid or the front door on this 230 yet, and I probably should do that. Because they're both Clipper, you're gonna get that familiar Clipper remote management web interface. That's gonna allow you to start, stop, configure, and even monitor your prints from your desktop computer, uh, or of course your mobile device. They both have auto bed leveling, filament runout sensors, and the classic 300-100 combo for temps on the hot end and build plates. We see that a lot now. Both machines have a hardened steel nozzle, so you'll be able to print abrasive materials, and uh, of course they both have PEI coated spring steel sheets. The 210 model from last year had a build volume of 210 millimeters cubed, while the new 230 uh, from this year has 230 by 230 by 210 millimeters on the Z for a build volume. Basically, the 230 just expanded in the X and Y directions uh, to be more in line with most medium sized 3D printers on the market today. They are really compact machines. They do have some heft to them, they're kind of heavy, um, but they don't take up much space. And I have to admit, I think they look pretty good. Kind of like a, a nice, dark, smoky, classy look for them. Last year we did a video on the 210 and I think my recommendation was that it was a great tinkering machine if you want to get into Clipper and an enclosed Core XY machine at a reasonable price. The 210 wasn't a bad machine, but this 230 has a couple of upgrades over the 210, namely the larger 230 millimeter build volume in the X and Y, and of course it has an upgraded extruder, which we'll talk about that just in a moment. This 230 arrived some time ago, but we just unboxed it live over on our Twitch channel a few days ago, which you should absolutely come over and hang out with us. We stream three times per week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific over at twitch.tv slash loyalmoses. Come hang out with us, we'd love to see you. Now, let me explain why I am bumping the temps up for the Violent Benchy G-Code. During the live stream, when we unboxed it, we printed the Violent Benchy G-Code, but the temps were set at 200C by default in that G-Code, which for an 18 minute Benchy is really low. Most G-Code for 18 minute Benchies are running temps around 220 to 240, depending on the hot end. However, we were really surprised that even at 200C, both printers completed the prints and they didn't jam which is quite impressive, but the print results were very different between the two machines. The 210, its print had obvious signs of the hot end struggling to keep up with the speed, while the 230 looks very much better. Not perfect, but really impressive for an 18 minute Benchy at 200C for that nozzle temp. Now looking at just how well the 230 performed at that low of a temp, I wanted to run both machines again, but this time I wanted to bump their temps up to 225 to remove that temperature issue as a factor, and I just wanted to see the print results. Now I'll be back in about 20 minutes when they're done.
before we look at the results, let's talk about who the printer is for. I still think both of these machines are going after the tinker or the budget-minded maker who wants to get into Core XY at a low entry price. King Rune makes good machines, and I think anyone that has my experience uh, will be more than happy. Now, one thing that I really don't like about either of these machines, and it isn't serious, it's just a minor annoyance, it's the stylus, my gosh, for that touch interface. The interface requires the use of the stylus, and no matter where I try and keep it, I am always dancing around the studio trying to find it. It's not a deal breaker, but a capacitive touch interface would have been so much better. All right, now let's take a look at the results from the 210. Now that's not the prettiest Benchy, but it is an 18 minute Benchy and I think you can easily see that the filament's running a little bit too hot and that's why it looks a little bit oozy. Oh, and I almost forgot. Have you heard of Bamboo Lab? Well, they're generously sponsoring this video. They make some of the best 3D printers in our industry and some pretty incredible filaments too. I'll have the link on the screen and in the description. Go check them out also. Like and subscribe, it helps us out a lot. All right, back to the video. Now, looking closely at the Benchy from the 230, it looks far better and actually looks like the print could have benefited from a little bit lower temperature too, but maybe 215 or 220 would have been better. Regardless, it looks great and the upgrades to the extruder and hot end combo were definitely warranted. Overall, the two machines look quite similar with just a few differences between them, but the 230 is definitely the one to go with. Now, on the King Rune website this past week, they had both printers listed there for sale. But recently, the 210 was showing as out of stock, so likely this 230 is in fact replacing the 210 as we'd expect. The 210 was 319 and the 230 is currently 369 That's not a bad price for a fully enclosed Core XY clipper machine though. Now, I'll be scoring this printer in an upcoming video, so make sure you're subscribed and you've rang that bell so you'll get that notification when I upload the content. I'll have links on the screen and in the description if you wanna go check them out. Let me give a huge thank you to our YouTube members and our Patreon supporters. You are what make our content possible. As full-time content creators, it means a lot. We couldn't do it without you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.